So anybody doing exams in January, any private candidate, any private mathematics candidate should be very, would be very, very interested in this. This is the May, June exam of Anyone doing exams in January, any private candidate doing exams next year, me, any private candidate, anybody doing paper tree should be very interested in this. This is what came in 2020, paper tree, exams, um, May, June exams, but you know it came a little later this year. So the following diagram, not drawn to scale, shows a ball. What really happening here is there's a spherical ball in a cylinder. CXC has been getting increasingly wild with these measurement questions. There's a ball in a cylinder and we need to determine the ratio of the volume of the ball to the volume of the cylinder. There's a ball in a cylinder, ratio of the volume of the ball to the volume of the cylinder. That's what they mean by VB over VC. And here the thing, they didn't give you the height or the radius in terms of numbers. The height is given in terms of the radius of the sphere. So this just, this, this sphere is the ball I'm talking about here. So let's see how we do this question. VB over VC, and I'm just going to throw in the formula. They gave you that the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r q, and we should know that the volume of a cylinder, this is in the front of the paper as well in the, in the formula sheet, is equal to pi r squared by the height. So now if I just do some little calcul um, cancellations here to begin with, um i should just end up with four thirds r and just the h but remember the h is actually equal to four r you all remember that from yeah the height is actually four r that was given in the question this means that if i replace h with four r I would be able to cancel the R and the 4 and I will just end up with a nice one third. And that went for three months. But that question proved to be really difficult for students to understand exactly what CXC wanted for that question. So you can take a little look at that. There's this habit that CXC has now, I said, with blending measurement questions with algebra techniques. So take a real nice long hard look at that question then. So the next part of the question is if the volume of the ball is, they give you the volume of the ball and now you need to determine the volume of the container. Well, we already established a ratio saying that the volume of the ball divided by the volume of the container is one third. So it means if they give you the volume of the ball, just multiply by three and you should get the volume of the container, right? Or you could just write this out in terms of algebra rearranging. The volume of the container is three times the volume of the ball, so that's a quick one mark to go. But the next question, a lot of people got the answer but didn't get the full marks. Now watch this question, right? You're seeing it actually at the bottom of the screen here. Given that the base area of the container is, so they gave you the area, and now they're asking you to find the radius. Now everybody knows they give you the area of a circle, you can find the radius using the formula pi r squared. But in this question, they said using the volume. So you need to follow the instructions to get the max. Using the volume of the container that you just calculate here, find R. So let's see how that is done. Volume is equal to area times height because you're dealing with a prism. Volume is equal to the cross sectional area times the height you drag the prism through. So this is going to be the area that was given. Use the volume. The height is actually 4R. That's why the height was 4R all along. And then you make R the subject of the formula and you get 3.50. Now, a lot of people got the 3.5. They got exactly 3.5. But they use, they just use straight this equal pi R squared and they make R the subject of the formula. That's not what the question was asking. You're supposed to use the volume of the container to get that. So that's the end of question 1A. I will be back with question 1B soon. Let me know what you think about this question. Rate it out of 10. Do you think this was hard? Do you think it was easy? A lot of the paper tree people complain about this paper. Paper tree people, you all need to understand that measurement is going to be a key topic. Measurement algebra, key topics in this exam. So make sure you have that unlock. Love and blessings. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. The usual I have. If by chance you're watching this and you're not doing paper tree but you're doing the SBA, I have the SBA bank out right now. You can just go to 
the student hub that online the link is in the description and you can get that book all right bless up